Okay, um, so I've been putting off making this video all day because I want to get used to carrying this camera around in the street and I'm so scared to just walk around and do stuff. So I'm going to just walk around in here in my apartment all the time, pretend like there's people looking. I'm trying not to look at my face because the monitor thing is right there and I don't want to, oh God, this is really hard. But I got to get used to this before I go to India. Yeah, bruh. All right, so for real, I'm going to go out and walk down the street. <laughs> I think we're going to go to Prospect Park and uh, do a little, I have an update for you about uh, the dentist um, and books and shows, all kind of stuff, but let's go to a nice, better place instead of just doing it in my room all the time. Okay, this is going kind of bad, really. <laughs> I feel like a big asshole walking around filming myself, but I really want to get in the uh, habit of doing this, so here we are. <laughs> this feels really awful. <laughs> Why don't I sit down? But then I can sit down and try to make... Actually, this doesn't look too bad, does it? Does my face look puffy? This is a bad angle to be talking to people at. And now there's people walking by, there's people walking by, there's people walking by, there's people walking by. Oh my god, the dog is gonna kill me, the dog is gonna kill me, the dog is gonna kill me. Alright, it looks really scary right here, right? Like, but it's a sort of a nice... It's nice, here's where I am. This is Prospect Park Southwest. Um, I walked over here. I was going to walk and carry the camera at the same time, which felt almost uh, just a little bit more assholey than sitting here in public filming myself. So one of the things I'm trying to practice doing is um, documenting and sort of doing this sort of vlogging style. So when I go to India in March, um, I'll be more comfortable than I am right now doing this kind of stuff. So I have updates for you. But I feel really awkward in this spot, too. <laughs> I'm gonna feel awkward in all the spots, but maybe I'll um, find a little hole somewhere, a little hole to hide in and film. Uh, let's see what I can come up with. All right, so the last update I did, I talked about how I wanted to um, get caught up on a lot of stuff before I went to um, India. Here are some of those things. I applied for a grant to help cover the expenses that, that will uh, happen on March. I'm going to go to, uh, if you're just tuning in, I'm going to India to volunteer with Animals Aid, Animal Aid Unlimited. Um, it's an organization that rescues animals on the streets in India. And I'm going to work with them for a month, document the whole thing, and write a whole new multimedia piece about that process, like I did uh, with the Animal Show and Tamerlane Farm. Um, so it's going to be a brand new show. New, 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 newness. And here comes some people. God damn it. Okay, it's just weird mushroom people. They're looking for mushrooms and going ooh, ooh, a lot. So I got that done. I got um, the video, one of the two videos I said I needed to get up um, is up. It's the um, silent vigil for the victims of Canada Goose that happened uh, back in January. So if you'd missed that on my YouTube channel, check it out. Um, and then finally, I have some health stuff to do and some dentistry that needs to happen. This, ugh. This is so hard, like doing this with people like meandering around. Um, but this is what I gotta practice. The other thing was health, which I haven't started doing yet, but I did start with um, my teeth. Um, lifelong thing, since before I guess, I've been sober for 24 years. And one of the things that a lot of people who have drug, alcohol issues, do is not take care of themselves. Uh, that, I guess that's still an ongoing thing because it's been 24 years and my teeth are still really kind of fucked up. Um, and it's that area that I feel a lot of shame about, which is what keeps me from doing it. Like it, it combines two things, money, which I, is a challenge, and um, my fucked up teeth, <laughs> which is an embarrassing thing to have fucked. And the good, I guess the good news is the all the problems are not visible really. Um, but I, a lot of, I was thinking a lot. So today I had a second dentist appointment. I have, like, I need implants in places. I have crowns that need to be done. I've realized today that this temporary crown I had in there has been in for two years. Um, that's not, so, okay, so let me let go of all of the self-judgment about this stuff. And the reason I want to share about this is because every time I talk about something like this, like publicly, like on my YouTube videos or on Facebook, I did a, I had a whole thing when I was first back in, in the dating thing, and, and I started sharing about that, and people started sending me messages like, thank you for saying what you said. So here we go. Here's a new thing that I feel creepy and uncomfortable talking about, but I feel like I need to say it, but partly because it like gets rid of my own shame about it, and partly because maybe it'll help other people who are feeling this way. So I have like missing teeth in the back of my mouth, and I have like these crowns, and. Um, honestly, that's it. Like, I have a 
removable bridge that I'd like to like not have removable. And um, and it's one of those things, I talked about this Jane Sibbery song that I always think of. It's, it's talking about, the, the whole thing of it is kind of the, um, <clears throat> the, the way like we don't take care of ourselves as a way, I don't take care of myself as a way to sort of keep me distant from people. So like, I, I, one of the things that kept me out of dating was this whole like, I gotta get my teeth f fixed before I kiss anyone. And then I just didn't do it. You know, so then I had this self-perpetuating thing that gave me an excuse not to date. Um, well, now I'm dating. <laughs> and it's making me like, ugh, yeah, I gotta take care of this. And it's just my fucking teeth. So I wanna get this all done by the time I'm 50. 49 now, like a few months into being 49. And there's nothing major, like I went to the dentist, uh, this is my second visit since that last video. And when I went back, I had all this like, oh God, oh God, oh God, this is gonna be so terrible, everything's gonna be bad. Like, I just start imagining the worst, which I do with a lot of stuff I'm learning. Um, and then I get there and the dentist is like, yeah, you've been gone for a long time, that temporary crown is fucked, um, but we'll start the process of finishing that crown and here's a teeth, I got my teeth cleaned. We talked about our plan of attack. It's gonna be a ton of money, but not that bad. And like everything, like, just it's gonna be okay so that's happening I'd love to get the bulk of that done before India and the thing that makes it like easier to do this type of thing is um you know like one like the the valid ish reason for letting some of that stuff go for the last couple of years is because I was working on the animal show and that was a project that honestly cost me a lot of money um, so my teaching and all the money from teaching and that kind of thing went to that um, but I have patreon now and um, I get a reasonable chunk of money every month from subscribers so that can go to my creative work and some of that money now you know that I'm making from teaching can go to like take care of my <laughs> my teeth and I gotta go like get like a you know like I'm almost 50 so I gotta do some of this health stuff that I couldn't I could get away with ignoring you know like preventative you know colonoscopies and shit like that so that's where I'm at with the dentist thing. So I feel really good about it. Um, and I feel really good about talking about it because like, ugh, not like, keeping that kind of thing, uh, it's not a secret, but you don't really like go around talking about, yeah, like I have shame about my teeth. Um, yeah, so anyway, that seemed like a bigger deal than it really is now. So um, I guess that's my check-in about the thing. This kind of does a cool. So, um, so next up is I have another dentist appointment in a couple weeks to start the process of this crown. I got a filling today. So I'm going to keep you guys posted on the dentist stuff. And what, do you have, like, things, who has dental problems that you hide? Like, I, one of the people that inspires me about this is uh, John Sackars, who's another vegan musician. Um, he's got a great channel. He makes so much music. He did a whole thing where he's got a tooth. It's actually fixed now, but he had a removable tooth and he lost it like a front tooth. And um, I don't know. I think a lot of people have dental problems they don't talk about. And there's like a lot of like, it's like a shame thing. Like it, it's, you know, people when they make fun of poor people, <laughs> which like, come on, they talk like there's always things about missing teeth, right? So there's this whole like stigma about having a dental problem, which in my case, like, I'm bad about procrastinating anyway, and I've got some level of ADD, which I need to actually look at treating again. You know, so it's, it's hard for me to follow through on stuff. So when it's compounded by the idea that I gotta spend a lot of money, and then there's shame around the issue, like, it's not easy. So here we are, unleashing, unleashing shame about dental problems. Maybe I'll, um, my dentist is great and his assistant is really great too. Maybe I'll bring my camera in one time um, and you can meet them. So um, new podcast went up today also, JL Fields, um, amazing, I love her. Uh, she's a chef and a cookbook author. Um, and then next week, Chris Cooney, the vegan zombie will be on. I have a, Broadway star who's gonna be on the show in a couple weeks. Oh, reminds me, I didn't email her PR lady today. I need to do that. Um, and that's really it. I just wanna make sure I keep doing these updates and I start getting used to carrying this camera around. It's really heavy. <laughs> I mean, to be holding with one hand, it's probably shaking right now. Oh, and this happens. I don't think it's that bad. It's way better. I fell down some stairs when I was teaching last week. Oh, that looks bad. And this was another thing, like, 
summer, I don't have a lot of income. And I was like, did I break a bone in my hand? Can I afford to go to the doctor and have it checked? Do I wait? Like, it's really interesting. So, I mean, this isn't all about artist stuff. This is a lot about my money issues and my inability to... Uh, my challenge with um, budgeting and prioritizing. Um, I, did I mention I started therapy last week? <laughs> so this is a great time for me. Like, a lot is opening up. Like, I'm in the dating world, my friendships, like I'm talking on the phone, I talked to a friend on the phone today, which is so unheard of. Like, so things are great, I feel super open, but you know, like with that, I'm really in the space of like, okay, let's get some shit together. Like, cause there's a lot I've been neglecting in my life. So um, I feel good about getting going. I feel good about getting more creative stuff happening. And I have a new project that's gonna be coming up on uh, Patreon specifically in the next month. Um, I'm planning a thing. Um, it's similar, to, I, did a, I did something like this before. It's, I'll tell you, just really quick, it's gonna be a little tiny publication that's gonna be only available on Patreon. I did a zine called um, Glorious, I guess maybe a year ago. Um, it was a story, it was a handmade zine uh, with Luke Curtis, who designed my, both of my books. Uh, he designed it, it was a story about, uh, I don't like telling the story. Um, if you, uh, anyway, it's, it, I put it in a zine because I didn't want to put it online. I was, even, it was too personal even for me to like have on the internet. So um, that thing was called Glorious and it was limited edition, numbered and signed that I sent out to patrons. Uh, so I'm going to do that again. It's coming up. It's going to be a whole new thing and that's, I've, I've told you more than I should. Anyway, thanks so much for listening to these and subscribing to this YouTube channel. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. Click the little notification button. And I'll see you next time. Um, I have a new video coming up next couple of weeks for my song, Their Eyes. Um, yeah, I'm not exactly sure when I'm going to release that. Maybe this week. I'm going to start working on it instead. All right, thanks so much for watching. All right, hello. Welcome to a new location. I'm cat sitting, so this is a new place. After I left the park, I realized I left out a major part of it. And I'm hoping, or a major part of what I wanted to say about the dentist stuff. Oh, I got a, here's the text. I was thinking of something Jamie Robinson said to me. And um, if you've been watching these videos for a while, you know Jamie from uh, the 30 Days of Wellness I did with him and Mark S. Wood. Um, it was a super transformative thing for me. And uh, I, he's a, there's a thing you say, and I just texted him, hey, there's a thing you say, you are perfect and blank and blank, what was it again? Perfect and whole and complete. Thanks for texting me that, Jamie. Um, and it's one of the things I was thinking about with the teeth and the, money and everything else like I've been through some stuff like I've had a life 49 years um, and it's I don't think I would trade anything right like so this is where it is like I got fucked up teeth I don't have money I need to start getting on top of it and you know I can feel ashamed of that and continue to like you know hide but I don't want to do that anymore I guess that's part of why I'm talking about this openly you know, because I don't want to hide anymore, and I'm the type of person that likes to maybe some would say overshare. Um, but I, I think it's valuable. Like I'm learning more and more that it's valuable for me to do that um, because it matters to other people who aren't in a position to share. You know, like just the number of you know. Whenever I put out a thing like this, when I was losing weight, uh, when I was you know feeling insecure about uh, about that whole realm. Um, when I was insecure about doing my show, like way back in the day when I first did Tenet of Armor, I made videos about how I couldn't get out from under those voices that were telling me I was an idiot and all the different stuff. The same voices I had today when I was walking down the street filming myself, right? Like this is a type of um, communication I want to be doing. And um, I worry a lot about what other people think. So, you know, I worry about what my dentist is going to think when I show up after two years <laughs> with this temporary crown that's coming out now and I'm popping back in like that's the I, I wasn't taking care of myself properly partly because of money but partly because oh god I gotta show up to this guy that I've like I mean I guess you can't ghost your dentist but you know I did and I felt ashamed of not taking care of myself right which stopped me from taking care of myself right because I was afraid to show up um, so it's just this avoidance thing I've had for a long time, but the perfect whole and complete thing is today is today I got here the way that I did and this is how it's intended to be 
because that's how it is. Um, and today I feel like I want to do some different stuff. So I'm doing that different stuff and uh, it takes time. So I'm here, imperfect, imperfect teeth, imperfect old bags under my eyes. This, <laughs> I got this mark on my face from when I popped a zit in high school. I've always had these gaps in my teeth. I never had like only three teeth grew in here. I never had that other one. And the, I've like, what if we all just like, what is the thing my friend Jane, Jane Wiener, Houston um, amazing choreographer and dancer, she talked about, I wish I could remember, maybe it was Quakers? Some, some um, and if you know what I'm talking about, feel free to add it in the comments. There was um, some culture that will make these beautiful quilts, but they intentionally include an imperfection in the quilt, and they're very proud of this imperfection. I need to learn more about this, but isn't that an interesting way to be? Like, ah, here's the unique thing about me. What? <laughs> what, like, what if we were like that? What if we were able to just, like, do what I, like, for me to, like, show you these teeth, I'd be like, yeah, they're fucked up. And my teeth are yellow, like, I gotta get a lot of shit done. And like these, I don't know what's gonna happen with that. I mean, he said he could bond them or something, I don't know. Um, but it's real interesting to be like, yep, look at this part of me that's wrong. What if we are just like, no, this isn't wrong, this is just part of it. This is my experience, man. I'm getting real deep. Oh, I was so depressed today. Um, and partly I think it was this, knowing I wanted to go out and do this thing. What happens if I zoom in a little bit? And I wanted to practice this, and I know it makes me feel insecure. But now I'm doing it, and I'm being very honest, and it's not so bad. Oh God, that's bad. <laughs> Maybe it's not. Um, yeah, so I feel pretty good now. You gotta talk it out. So what's going on? What are you feeling insecure about? Send me a message. You can comment. What are the things that you wanna, huh, that you hide, that are just you, that's just part of you? Can you show somebody that thing? Ah, whoa, I got real deep, man. Anyway, I feel great today, in this moment. Look, I'm gonna get real close up on my face. Look at how balachi my skin is. Look how wrinkly. I think pores are bad. Like, I have I had a friend who used to always Photoshop his pores. Oh, my face is greasy because it's hot today. I did wash it. Look, ugh, come on. It's okay, that's how it looks. That's how it looks to be 49 and not dead. I'm alive and this is how alive looks in my body. That's pretty cool. All right, we are, <clears throat> what's it again, Jamie? Perfect and whole and complete. Actually, I remembered it as I was typing it to him. I hope there's nothing secret here, there's not. Yeah. Oh you know, yeah, we were talking about my weight loss. Anyway. Thanks for watching this. I think this is gonna be pretty long. Oh my God, I showed you my teeth. Didn't show you the back. Maybe I'll show you what's going on in the back later. It's not too bad, but it's not great. Anyway, um, everything's perfect and whole and complete. <sighs> See you next time.